Hey, hi everyone. What is up with melatonin? Melatonin is having a moment in the media right now. There's all these reports of kids going to the emergency room, kids dying from melatonin because they're eating too much of it. Um, I'm going to push back a little bit on that. I've been in practice for over 20 years and there's been many occasions where I've advised using a little bit of melatonin for a child with a really disrupted sleep pattern. It's been clinically trialed in kids on the autism spectrum and pretty good doses, anywhere from three to five milligrams. Um, and in those kids, it's been successful, no side effects, other than they have less anxiety during the day, which makes sense since that's on the same pathway as serotonin. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little uh, baffled by those news reports and have never seen it adversely affect a child in 20 odd years of clinical practice. One thing I will say is I'm not a big fan of gummies for kids when you have vitamins and supplements that are in a gummy form because they are like candy. And if kids can get into them, then they're going to eat too much of it. And that can be an issue. Um, I also don't uh, combine melatonin with kids who are using any kind of medication that's working along that serotonin pathway. That's going to be something that I'd be very careful and thoughtful about. So long story short, it's a pretty safe supplement. I've never seen it become addictive in a child. I've really only seen it help. Uh, the only negative side effect I've ever seen is if the dose is too high. And when I say too high, I'm talking about maybe a milligram or when the child needed a half milligram, they might have really intense dreams that are not pleasant. So that's about it. And that resolves as soon as you withdraw the melatonin. So that's my melatonin moment. And, uh, your kids get to be healthy.